if I ever come across something I've never had in my mouth before, it's going in my mouth immediately. And, uh, you know, everyone has tastes that they like and don't like, but you never know, you know, if, if, if it's something you've never tried before, you never know if you're going to like it or not like it. So go ahead and try it. If you don't like it, spit it out. That's fine. You're not going to hurt anyone's feelings, but it literally could change your life. And so that's, that's how I live now. Yeah. It's, it's generally about the people. I think most people would answer that that do this professionally. Uh, you spend a lot of hours with the same people in tight, confined spaces under, uh, you know, stressful work expectations. And so you build a lot of camaraderie. So these people become your family. They become your brothers, your sisters, your nieces, your nephews. It's a very diverse group of people, people from all kinds of different backgrounds and upbringings all kinds of different life experiences, that kind of stuff. And um, I think the most rewarding thing is when you pass on skills to other people and then those people pass on those skills to other people, so on and so forth. That's kind of how you leave your mark on the world. If you've worked in this industry long enough, you know what the expectations are. You know you can't please everybody. You know you're gonna have to deal with people that aren't very polite. You know you're gonna to have to deal with complaints. You know you're gonna to have to deal with people not showing up for work one day and then you having to put in extra work. And um, to be really committed to this industry takes a lot of personal sacrifice. It requires a lot of self-discipline as far as practicing your skills and developing them and mastering them. Um, and it can be a grind for some people and it's probably a grind for everybody in certain ways at certain times and you have to really be committed and really enjoy what you're doing or you're not gonna be very happy doing it in a professional environment. You know, you, the best dish that you make is what you enjoy most at that time, so it might be based on the time of year, it might be based on the weather, it might be based on the people you're enjoying it with. You know, one of my favorite things is to have like a crawfish boil when crawfish season starts, get a bunch of friends together, head out to the beach, keg of beer, 120 pounds of crawfish and just kind of make a party of it. But it's also really nice to like uh, just make a nice little stew at home and have a lady friend over and just have an easy night and a bottle of wine, some good food, maybe, you know, a little fun afterwards. You know, it, it depends on who, where, when, that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of people say, oh yeah, go to culinary school, you know, and, and they'll bring you into the culinary program saying, you know, when you, when you graduate, you're going to have all these skills, you're going to get a great job, all this kind of stuff. That's normally not the case. You know, I would recommend culinary school to anybody, but I would say all you're going to get out of culinary school is enough time to practice the basics. It doesn't make you a great chef, it doesn't make you very proficient at your trade in order to master those skills, you gotta spend time in a, in a professional kitchen. And that's not an easy work environment. And, and a lot of people get into it. They think, I love cooking, this is gonna be a lot of fun. And then they get into the professional you know, field and it's not that much fun for them. It takes, um, it takes a certain kind of person to really enjoy that work. And so I say there's two kinds of people. There's the kind of person that has fun doing it at home and that's awesome. And then there's the kind of person that, that can do it professionally and do it well. And um, that's even better because I love working with those kind of people. Yeah. So it's, it's not going to be easy. It definitely takes sacrifice. Some of those sacrifices is a lot of free time as far as practicing, mastering your skills. Um, but if you take it seriously, it can be very, very rewarding. It's a great craft, a great trade to get into. You meet a lot of great people that become lifelong friends. Enjoying good food and beverage is probably the second most pleasurable thing you can experience in life next to sex. 
So as professionals, we kind of have this idea of, of giving pleasure, right? And it's in some very intimate way. It's actually somebody puts it in their mouth. Um, so we, uh, we connect with people on a very personal level when you serve somebody food. And when they enjoy that food, hopefully the intention is it turns them on enough, you know, that they go home and make love afterwards. Yeah.